11 days from now, we are going to win my home state of Florida, and we are going to win four more years in the White House, four more great years. We have 10 days left. It may come down to Pennsylvania. And I believe in you. I believe in my state. The choice has never been clearer, and the stakes have never been higher. President Trump and Joe Biden delivering their closing messages this week in two major swing states. Over the last two months, we've taken a closer look at the key battleground areas that will likely decide the election outcome. But once all the ballots are cast, each state will tally the votes a little differently. We asked 538's Nate Silver what that means for declaring a winner on election night. To manage expectations here, many states will not have a complete count of their vote by election night. And in fact, it may take days or even weeks to know who has won. With that said, there are some paths where Joe Biden could be in a very strong position. ABC News has been highlighting six key states in our Six for the Win series. You've got the three Sunbelt states, Florida, Arizona, and North Carolina, and three Midwestern ones, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Apart from nicer weather, those Sunbelt states have something else in common. They're likely to count their votes fairly quickly. In Florida and Arizona, mail ballots must be received by Election Day. In North Carolina, there's a ton of early voting, and it's expected that as much as 80% of the vote there can be announced shortly after polls close. And all three of those states are pretty close to being must-wins for Trump. We have a new choose-your-own-adventure tool at 538 that lets you see how the probabilities change in our model depending on who wins key states. Biden is approximately a 99% favorite to win the Electoral College if he wins Florida or North Carolina, and 98% if he wins Arizona. But let's say President Trump wins Florida instead, then the election is much closer to a toss-up. Losing Florida means Biden would have only a 58% chance of winning, and in that case, we could be waiting for results for a long time. That's because if Trump secures the Sun Belt, Biden needs to win all three Midwestern states. But Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin are slower to count their ballots, and ballots might be accepted after Election Day as long as they're postmarked by November 3rd. So I buy that we're going to know quite a bit on Election Night. If Biden's narrow polling leads in states like Florida translate into wins for him there, we could even get an Election Night call. Still, I would advise caution. If it does come down to the Midwest, we could be waiting for a long time. Hey folks, I predict that you're going to either subscribe to our YouTube channel, or watch some related videos, or both. Um, you can do both, but you can't do neither. So either subscribe or watch more videos.